how would you, as a journalist, feel going to Qatar, fulfilling your duties there? Well, it's it's really important that the journalists are going there right now because this is such an important moment already, yeah, for Qatar and. Okay, let's hope that the words of of uh, Gianni Infantino will be true. I doubt it a little bit, but okay, you never know. At the same time, it's it's really important that the the journalists are now there and that we hope and it's not always the case I get the impression that they can really do their work well, that they can go to those places that they can do the real reports because yeah, there has been so many estimations about the number of workers death, for example. Okay, we heard the 6,000 from, from, uh, from the Guardian, but we also heard uh, Gianni Infancino himself say that it was only three people. So yeah, that's quite a huge difference. It's, it's really important now that uh, the people are there. I think, yeah, getting, uh, uh, well, uh, leaving Qatar is not an option anymore. So the tournament is there. Now just make the best out of it. Yeah, and Ojora, do you think that with all of this being said, that there may be a problem of sports washing uh, per se, uh, that we are focused so much on the game, on the draw itself tonight, that we forget about all of those other issues uh, that might be at play. That football is being used as a tool to uh, go over uh, all of those problems. No, not at all. Um, I think uh, Infantino, like you rightly said, and um, like Ruben mentioned, it's good that journalists are there. Um, as journalists, we are there to report what's happening and what um, people are not seeing. Sometimes we only look at the positive of these things, but looking at it like what we've seen in tournaments, like what happened in Cameroon as well, journalists, we are on ground to report the negative sides. So it's going to see um, the whole world is watching, despite the fact of you know, what has happened there. We are watching to see what our colleagues um, in uh, Qatar will bring out. If what Infantino had said that, okay, this is not more of a, um, you know, uh, people not getting paid or whatever. So we're waiting for journalists to see what they'll bring there. And for me, I think it's it's a good thing that they are even hosting this World Cup in the Middle East. So it's all about accountability then, uh, basically being able to witness it, bring it back home then, both on the sporting front and then on uh, outside the stadium. Yeah, well, that, that's that's our work. So that's, that's really important to do it. I also want to mention uh, just the Winter Olympics we had where it wasn't possible in Beijing to do anything also because of the COVID situation over there. And we've seen it also in Russia 2018, for example. But I, I really hope that uh, the people who, who will go there get all the possibilities to, to, to have a look, to talk to the right people. Uh, and what I've seen until now was encouraging but still not enough i would say it's also true that uh, this is a young country there's still a lot to change so let's hope that what johnny infantina says is true that uh, football can help by making those important changes